Right then, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at this. This is the e-scoot Wayfarer electric bike. Now I've tested e-scoot bikes in the past and I was really impressed with their Voyager, which is a mountain bike version of this. But this is their commuter recreational bike with thinner tires and it's fully compliant with all the UK and EU rules that surround electric bikes. So it's limited to 15.5 miles an hour. It has got a 250 watt hub motor in the rear wheel. So far I've been really impressed with this e-bike, it's packed full of features, it's got a light, it's got a horn, it's got the computer on the front here, it's got disc brakes, it's got a luggage rack on the back, it's a really nice bike packed full of features, you have got gears to assist you along if you want to use the gears as well. So yeah, today we're going to take it out, basically we're going to test it out and see what it's all about, see what it's like to ride on UK roads and see if it might be an option for you to purchase for commuting and recreational riding. Let's do it. We're here commuting on the Wayfarer for the first time. This is uh, interesting riding this because it feels initially really really smooth now the, the roads in the UK are notoriously bad but this is a, a pleasant ride to start with the first thing I noticed straight away is how good the brakes are now they're only cable brakes uh, they're disc brakes but they're only cable controlled straight away you can feel how like, decent they are they're obviously new but straight out of the box they feel they feel pretty good let me give you all the specs about this e-scoot wayfarer uh, it's a really cheap bike for what you get as well 999 pounds in the uk there will be a link in the description down below and i think there might be a discount code but check out i'll keep on updating the comments if i do get a, an extra discount code for you i'll put it in a pinned comment so check that out down below the bike itself weighs 25 kilograms so i found that it's a lot lighter than other bikes that i've tested over recent months easy to pick up you're not going to want to carry it upstairs but it's not going to be it's too heavy just to carry through a house or something like that so it's quite light for what it is it's got that 36 volt 10 amp hour battery that is removable so you can charge it in the house or in the garage when it's in the bike that's no problem all the charger comes in the box as well you get all the gear in the box including the keys which unlocks a battery to remove it out of the frame very slim as well the design itself you wouldn't even know the battery is in there if you didn't know um, apart from you you can obviously see the motor on the back uh, the hub motor which is a 250 watt hub motor but yeah it's very slim very inconspicuous doesn't really look like an e-bike i really do like the way it looks the design of the actual bike is very very nice i can't get over how smooth it feels as well just to ride it's the wheels are quite thin they're like road tires um but like I said, you've got those brakes, you've got the suspension, which is good. You've got the seven speed Shimano gears, if you want to use the gears. You've got five pedal assisted modes, so you can change it depending on how much assistance you want. There's, the front light is decent. It's going to keep you sort of seen on the road. It's not really going to illuminate really dark roads, I shouldn't have thought, but it's a decent light. You can switch it on here with your thumb on and off. And you've got, you've got the horn as well, which is pretty awesome has to warn pedestrians about you coming past that'd be brilliant down in london for instance but it feels really comfortable to ride the seat and the handlebars just it's a nice position when i'm riding the bike so it feels nice you could easily commute um a few miles on this no problems at all the range is up to 40 miles i would suggest you'd probably get on using it in normal circumstances with the power rider probably 20 to 30 miles um what i've experienced riding it over the last couple of weeks but yeah if you ride it conservatively you ride it on flat uh, canal paths or something like that and you've got it in one or two then yeah definitely you'll get 40 miles out of this thing it has got five pedal assist modes so you can bump it up and down via the lcd controls on the handlebars the gears are shimano seven speed you can't go wrong with shimano gears absolutely faultless the chain that it's connected to as well is rust proof chain you don't need any grease or maintenance so it's all going to work you're not going to have that many maintenance problems although it is just like a normal bike it can take a payload of 120 kilograms uh, it's suitable for riders up to 200 centimeters so if you're what's that six foot four that i'm 188 i think i'm 62 so yeah six foot four 
it's a pretty big bike it's well adjustable the seat post goes up and down you can actually adjust the handlebars up and down the rake on it as well so you can adjust it to how you feel so it's going to suit all riders it will of course suit smaller riders as well because it's got that step through frame for the more female orientated market it's very comfortable very easy to ride it's of course got the stand on the side as well so if you want to stop and you can just put it on the stand and it won't fall down on the floor so that's a, a nice little feature as well let's talk about the motors then because in the uk the law is 15.5 miles an hour 250 watt maximum and it has to be pedal assist only it's plenty for what you're riding you do get a workout with this bike and that's a good thing about these kind of bikes that are limited you still have to pedal it's not a lazy man's bike you've still got a certain amount of pedaling to do but when it comes to the hills it's plenty enough to take you up a decent gradient so on the flat you will quickly top out that max speed especially with a little bit of motor assistance to start with but then when you get to 15 and a half miles an hour the motor sort of cuts out a little bit and you have to start pedaling and you still get a decent workout but then you get to a hill and you just have to sort of rotate the legs and it does take you away it's a really nice feeling if you haven't ridden an electric bike before it's a surreal experience it feels really nice and makes a ride a little bit more pleasant because you can sort of just go out have a ride don't go bullet a china shop like these road road cyclists <laughs> you haven't really got to go out there and race around but when you need it the power's there we still have to put a little bit of exertion into riding as you can tell i'm a little bit out of breath i'm still turning the legs i'm still getting the heart pumping and that is the perfect combination of fun and exercise for me when it comes to riding electric bikes especially these ones that are limited to eu laws just feels really good it's a lot of fun to ride overall it's an amazing e-bike for the money for 999 pounds in the uk it's brilliant value you, you get a lot of kit for your money you've got the front suspension which is good and smooth you've got the brilliantly smooth ride this i just can't get over how smooth the ride is on this thing front and rear lights the battery power you've got disc brakes although they are cable disc brakes they are still quite powerful it is all in all uh, a brilliant package i really do like the e-scoot wayfarer and if you're after a commuter or a general recreational bike to go around canal paths or to take it on holiday with you a brilliant brilliant bike and if you want to grab one make sure you do use the link in the description down below because it does help this channel a little bit but at no extra cost to yourself and like i said stay tuned for discount codes i'll keep that updated in the pinned comments but that's it for this video i hope it helped if you've got any more questions about e-scoot or or electric bikes in general let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you on the next video see you soon guys bye